me in the kitchen is Ryan Frecking, past chair of Taste and current president of the Producers Board, along with the lovely Felicia, who is owner and chef of Cuba Cochina. How'd I do? Good. Cocina. Cocina. So no, I didn't do good. You can be honest with me. We're, we're a family. Felicia's been here in the show before. You can, of course, help me out here because you're going to be helping out our stomachs because mm -hmm. you're going to give us a pretty great yes. recipe that people can enjoy at this event, right? Absolutely. So we're going to be doing um, a very traditional Abuela's black beans. So we're going to start off with... Um, I'm glad I'm not trying to say that yeah, one. Right. I really <laughs> so we're going to start off with the beans in the pot. Usually at home, you know, you have a pressure cooker, but the beans are going right. So we're going to add uh, fresh onion. Uh, Onions. Which, by the way, that plate in itself looks fabulous with Thank all your different you. ingredients. And then the bay leaves are going to go in, and then we're going to start a sofrito, which sofrito is like the Spanish trinity. So it's going to be our peppers, which I'm going to show you now in a second that they're different. Ah, that sizzle. There's the sizzle. <laughs> There's the sizzle. So, and here is onions, garlic, and peppers. And we don't use traditional green pepper. It's a little too bitter, so we use the cachucha peppers, which oh. those are traditionally used in Cuba to make um, the sofrito. So they're like a habanero pepper, but without the spice, but with a lot of sweetness to it. Ooh. So they add a really good um, darkness like of flavor to your beans. So we're going to let that go. We're at home. You let that go all day. You're in a pressure cooker. Let it go. And then we add the last bit, which is the cumin and the salt. And then the secret ingredient, which you can't forget because Abuela always had this. It's vinegar and sugar mixed together. Oh, so that's what really pulls it all together. Hey, by the way, um, notice she said let it go, which was kind of fun too. Which oh, just right. like brings us to the scratch. <laughs> very, very well played Thank there, you. my friend. Thank you. Let's talk about this event yes. because I didn't realize, of course, two years, like so many events, been on hiatus, but this is one that is what, like one of the longest events ever in Tampa Bay? It is. It's been around for 37 years. It actually started to help raise funds to create the Strata Center in the beginning. And we've had a great run. We've raised over $3 million for the Strata Center Performing Arts and Education. And we look forward to having it back at the Strata Center here this year on April 9th. I'm curious if this is something that people have not checked out, though. I've already kind of touched on, you know, we've got the great food. You're on the river walks. So you've got great location. What else are people in store for? Well, it's all across the Strata Center, right? So it's on the river. It's in Morsani Hall, Ferguson Hall. And then we have some VIP sections. So it really shows and highlights what the Strata Center has. It's on the river, which is always a beautiful mm -hmm. uh, event and time and day. So uh, we're really looking forward to it and hope everyone can attend. And of course, uh, we're taking a look right now of some people enjoying. And again, it's so we're so glad that an event like this is back. We are talking about April 9th, of course, and seven. This is where you can uh, talk about. Ba Ooh, I'm seeing some pizza right mm. there. Okay, <laughs> let's go back though. I want to see what is happening in the kitchen. How's our recipe here? And by the way, are people going to be able to taste this at the taste oh events? Oh my gosh, yes, they are. So they're going to they're going to have a taste of our rice and beans and of our of our award-winning Cuban. So that's a big mouthful to say. <laughs> our award-winning Cuban sandwich is going to be there. As well so yes a little bit of everything from Cuba Cocina how sure. are how are we doing on our recipe over here they're doing fabulous they just have to let it go See, we're dealing with pros here everybody and again I think that's just you know compliments to you both but also compliments to the event because it is a place that you're able to experience some of the best if people want to know more one where would you send them and what do you like to tell people who are watching at home that are maybe like on the fence about coming out well it's a uh, as I mentioned it's on the river so usually we have great weather Oh, yeah. uh, if they want to learn more, you can uh, go to the Strad's website at strazcenter.org. Taste. Uh, tickets are $90 for general admission, $180 for VIP. The event will be from 7 to 11.30. And if you have VIP access, it'll begin at 6. And then in addition to the general admission and the VIP tickets, you can also purchase a table for $2,000 for 10 people. I like that. So it's kind of one of those things that you know you're giving back, but it can also be a great night out with friends. That's right. Absolutely. So, um, this, of course, we were talking, though, of being able to enjoy so many different elements. You touched on a little bit how it also goes to the education side of things. That's right. I don't think a lot of people realize how much great work the Strass Center does do. So I would, if you'd seek on that for a little bit before we wrap. Yeah, so the Strass Center has, obviously, the performances that everyone sees, but we also have a great education system yeah. for children to learn uh, the various uh, performing arts, whether it's singing or dancing or performing. So uh, we, we try to raise money as part of this uh, event every year to help support those endeavors. And you're able to make that happen. How are ticket sales? Do people ticket need to move are, now, I feel like? Yeah, absolutely. We've sold out in the past. So uh, with a few weeks away, definitely time to get your tickets. And uh, we always have great restaurants. We usually have 40 to 50 different restaurants. We have breweries on site. 
and we have uh, live music as well in four different venues on the main stage in Morsani and Ferguson and in the VIP tents. Lots of fun, lots of fun. We're still kind of waiting for the sizzling over here, but again, finished product over there, right? Finished product over there. Yes, Good ma stuff. And now there's just one example that you can get. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is how you kick off a show, right? Talking about a fabulous event at a fabulous location. Thank you for being our first guest today.